What's going on guys, Victor here. Welcome back to another video. Got an action-packed one for you today. Took a trip offshore with my good buddies Adam and CJ. Had a killer time out there, but first, today's video is actually sponsored by Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash is a really cool game I've been playing. It's free for iOS and Android. You can level up, travel the world, catch different fish species from around the world. You can collect a bunch of new gear like coins, lures, rods, so it keeps things fresh and interesting. One of my favorite parts of the game is the weekly events where you can compete head to head with fishermen from all over the world. You guys can battle it out with different species and different fisheries from everywhere. As much as I like catching fish in real life, sometimes you need to get your fix elsewhere. We're on Fishing Clash right now. Now let's see what we can catch. So the cool thing about this is that you can catch all different species from all over the world. All right, we're casting out our lure. Let's see what we can get. In real life, you're using, it's all about the wiggle of the worm. On the phone, it's the wiggle of the thumb. In particular right now, I'm fishing in Florida. Oh, big old yelltail snapper right there. Look at that guy. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Oh, okay. A dusky smooth hound. That's a new species for me. And right now, Fishing Clash is hooking up my subscribers with the gift code FISHWITHVICTOR. You guys are gonna get a level three rod Florida Pro License, 50 Lucky Power Ups, 30 Weight Power Ups, a $20 value, and all you gotta do is follow the directions on this screen. Also, download Fishing Clash in the description box below. I think it's a really cool and fun way to fish when you're not on the water, and best of all, it's free, like I said, in the description box below. Now let's move on with today's video. All right, guys, we're starting out the morning looking for some bait. So we're out here by this little beach right here. We got Malusi on the net. What's going on? CJ behind the wheel. Yo. What we're looking for is them flickering on top. Early in the morning, they kind of come up top. I don't know if they're eating or if they're just happy, but usually if you see some bus on top, that's where we throw the net. They come up and eat nutrients. Those these? The beach. Okay, yeah. By the rocks, by the bridge. Right see how big they are first. They're nice. Fired up today. Okay, this is all we're using today to get those fish fired up, those black ones, but we gotta go get the real baits after this. So these are gonna be our chum baits, our hook and line baits. We're gonna try to get some sardines. This is just to raise the tuna up to get them to notice our baits. There's a nice snuck right there. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Let's see a snuck. All right, we got the predators working. The bait pushing them right up on the beach for us, which is nice. If they can go. You know what? Just for that cast net throw, Adam, you get a shout out. Thank you. If you guys don't know who this is, my good buddy Adam up there, you guys can subscribe to his channel. You can find it. Link below as well as on the screen here, moving weight fishing. Just for that great pancake of a throw yeah we didn't get any bait on because they are moving so quick but yes check the channel out. the effort was there though no i mean you're just using it for chum yeah, yeah they're gonna work we're not even starting no that's going in the video <laughs> Beam. Is that a petite? That's a very, very, very petite. We're going to catch these a little bit bigger. Let's do it. See you guys out there. Jay's got them. Adam's got them. I got them. No, I'm pulling them all out. I need to pull them all out. All right, Jay will do it. Off? I'm just kidding. We've been having big issues trying to get Dean's. We came out here and normally you can see him flicking on top, but we've been driving around this wreck for like 15 minutes. This is only the second time we've got them, so marking them a little bit on the screen, seeing them pop up from time to time. So those are the baits that we ideally want to fish on hook and line. The pilchards you guys saw us net earlier, that is mainly for chum. Those are the smaller baits, but these big sardines, perfect for cobia, dolphin, and tuna. Looks like you're smoking a cigar, but you're really smoking deans. Mm -hmm. One sardine. Well, you're not oh, smoking any. It is a cigar. I am smoking a cigar. Oh, 
Let it sit. Let it sit in the water. Look at this. Look That's at this Cuda. So oh my god. So watch, we're gonna get it one more time. One more time. On Vic's Blue Runner. Oh man. Oh my god. They're not that fast. We are headed to our spot. We got about six dozen deans in the well, a bunch of pilchards, and I have not caught a keeper cobia since 2008, since the crash. My uh, my cobia zeal, my cobia luck has gone down since then, so hopefully we change that today. Feeling optimistic? I'm feeling very optimistic. Fish has been great the past week. Um, I think we can make it happen today. There's been a lot of tunas around, a lot of cobia, a lot of dolphin, kingfish. Everything's Everything's been great, and we got the right bait. Just the thing, no one else in the world has live sardines right now, so we'll see how it goes. Just hook the dolphin on the popper. Nice job, Vic. <laughs> Look, tuna pull out right here. Oh, oh there's my, he's everywhere. Dude, this is a nice one too. This is a gaffer. Dolphin on, oh! dolphin on the popper. Look at him, all over the place. Oh Cover my gosh, there. so Cover sick. Cover up a big dolphin, oh my God. Look. Look, 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 look. Why was I not recording? Hold my, hold this, hold. Jake, 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 big dolphin right here. Yes, 10 pounder. Give it oh. I'm gonna flip. I got another one right here. Can't grab bait. Oh my God, there's like four next to me. Where are you? Right here, they're all on me. Look at them, everywhere. Dude, on the freaking popper! All right, leave that dolphin on the deck for a second. Can I the popper? Dude, I got the popper back out. I saw tuna blobs while we were chumming, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, the dolphin are the popper. Keep Dude, here, Adam, I got the spinner right here with the I need, I need. They are going bananas for the popper. Got them on. Are they blowing up the popper still? I mean, a little bit. Dude, nice one off the bow. Cast it off the bow. Rip it, rip it. No? What are some chunks? Back spinner, Vic. Huh? The back spinner got one. A what, dolphin? <laughs> right in front of you. I'm tip wrap. Oh my god, there's. <laughs> oh, there was a tuna right there. Right there. Big I know. Black fin on, baby. Woo! Right by the boat. Okay, I don't see shark. I don't see shark. Yeah, we got him. Right here, right here. Nice fish. Easy, easy. No shark. Start that before. I have to. Hold me. While my team is feeling out. Bring me a shark. Oh my god, big shark! Oh, a dolphin. Dolphin, dolphin, big dolphin. 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 Big dolphin on the popper. Dolphin on the popper once again. Dude, they got smart and then they got stupid again. What do you want to do? Okay. All right. Watch your Dean, watch your Dean. These are all quality fish, too. Adam's on. Nice dolphin. Tuna's it's airing out, dolphin airing out. This is what it's all about right here. October fishing, baby. It's Jay crazy. Dolphin. Oh, CJ too. Dolphin or tuna? I just get real quiet. Nice dolphin, nice dolphin. Nice. Oh! Big ass black fish off the bow. Bro, I'm getting one on the popper today. Right off the bow, baby. Just throw pilchard. Whoa! Throw Dude, pilchard on that so shit. Dude, they're so close to the boat too. Oh, right here, big Dude, black Dude, right, right next there. to the boat. Oh my. Dolphin? Big no, black fin. No, blackfin. You are, yes! Is it him? Watch him eat that Watch chunk. him swoop it. This is an insane bite. We got fish all over the boat. Dolphin, blackfin, tuna. The tunas, he's on top. He's on top. It's gotta be getting chased. We got dolphin, blackfin, tuna. I cut up a chunk of a sardine and... No. No. Sharks or just pulled? Bro, bro, shake me off. What? What are you fishing? Straight 30? 60 pound fluoro. They're giant tunas. They choke it and this is how it is, but 
get back to fishing. That's all we can do. He still ate it. He just ate it. Your tuna? Yeah, I think. Diary missed it. Just free spool and eat me. They're like afraid of the sardine, oh. man. What? Yeah, I'm eight. Oh, they spit. It's like they eat it. Look, they eat it. They take the chunk out of it like this and then they let it go. And then they don't want it anymore. They wanted a little bait. No. Cultured. All right, here's the thing, Vic. I got this one on the popper right here. And yes, I'm aware we left off it on the deck 15 minutes at most. We're going to ice them down, but when it's good, you got to get them in the boat. And you can't, I mean, we were every single second, we were either re-rigging, tying, casting, gaffing, doing yeah. something. Tuna's airing out around the boat. Dolphins swimming in circles around the boat. We got cobia under the sharks. It's like, it doesn't get any better than this besides like, we, you can't land a tuna. Like, no. Yesterday, or the day before yesterday, Chief and I hooked 20 blackfin, counted, all, over 20 pounds, didn't land a single one. The shark problem out fishing out front of Jupiter is so sad, and I don't know. You, I mean, if you fish, you know about it. If you don't, you don't. That's just how it is. Like, CJ lost a nice one today. Yeah, shark. I did. I free spooled it too. Shark chased it to the boat, still in free spool. Watched the tuna swim away, shark chased him, just ate him. In free spool. Um, they weren't eating my lie bait, and like I saw that, it was like, it literally looked like a Key West tuna eating under a shrimp boat, did it not? Just yeah, swimming, like sick. that doesn't happen here. Yeah. Swimming, swimming around, eating the chunks, and I just cut half of a sardine, pitched my rod, and was letting it out, and he swooped by and ate it, like 25 pound or so. I mean. What we're doing out here is there's this wreck that we've just been drifting kind of around, but we're way off of it now, and we just have those pilchards that we netted earlier. CJ or I or Adam will just throw out a handful at a time and you literally will see the black fins. I think I got a couple shots on the GoPro. Just air out, dolphin all around the boat. You guys hear us complaining about the sharks. Not to sound greedy, I mean, yeah, we caught plenty of dolphin, but dolphin don't really get sharks. Tunas tend to go down where the sharks live and they're the ones who uh, get the short end of the stick a lot of the time. So I got my first two dolphin today on the popper, which is so sick. You guys know me and I love anything artificial i'd rather catch one fish on artificial than 10 on a bait but got that on there now we're just going to clean up a little bit got a lot of cleaning to do and get back out there redrift hate to self promo here but i'm going to do it i'm coming up on 50,000 subscribers and the goal is 50k before 2022 so i'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe we do stuff like this every day on the channel and vic and i usually film all the time but we didn't we haven't filmed since may he's been so busy i've been busy with work but we're finally collabing again and we're gonna make content like this all the time so check and the channel out if you guys want to see more videos more collabs like this comment below right now drop a like on the video right now as well someone lift that troll motor right quick oh, yeah the shark's about to eat your trolling motor cj oh look at we're covered up, baby. We're gonna do a lemon here in a second. Yo, nice fish right here. Jake keeps wanting to redrift. These fish are just swimming through so solid today. You could catch 100 dolphin today if you just sat here. Watch it. Oh, pulled hook on him right there. There's 20 more right there. Grab me bait, grab me a Play them nice and light. You can't, you're not gonna catch them. I hate to be a dude, but like, you know how it is. Jake yeah. Kobe. Is. Oh, God. No, you're good, you're good. Just, no, 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 don't horse, yep. Don't? No. Go what, just slow. let him go real, real slow. slow? Real slow, like like the shark is coming up. If he starts freaking out, free spool is from the surface. Get down. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure I have a cob on. I was just drifting a bucktail jig with a squid right on top of it. On bottom. Nice and light, but no horse. That's a shark. No, it's not. I just got shark. I just got a shark. Ah, uh, why wouldn't I have horsed them? Will you let go? Here. That was definitely a cove too. Yeah. So. Like all, like all you could do there is either. I like, think I should have horsed him, dude. I had him. I, mean, I was, if, I had him going, and then I just let him play me. 
if you want to, you can try, or... He did not come up. Got eaten by a shark, of course, because you can't catch anything oh these God, days without one. Right here, just smoke. Dude, there is oh coat. That is a cob, isn't it? Right no, there. It's a can. Is it? Or a really? Yeah. I just lost a cob on the bucktail with a squid to a shark. So let's we'll see if we can try to actually get one in the boat. All right, guys. So this is what I had: must have bucktail jig, three ounce. Let me show you how to hook it with the squid. You get yourself a squid, and I like to put it right here, and just like that. And it looks like a nice squid. And then I like to work the jig up and down the water column. And drop it all the way to the bottom and then work it up. So the reason I'm doing what I'm doing is I think that these cobia are kind of just swimming all around. Most of the time they're on the bull sharks and the bull sharks are just swimming around the wreck. So instead of just leaving a bait down there, I like to just work the whole water column and really give them something to chase. Yeah? Thanks, Dolphin. Oh yeah. So we just set up another drift right around when we just hooked that cob. First fish for Adam, another dolphin. Little guy. What was that? Did you almost lose your hat? Yeah, and my GoPro. Yeah? Is it the right one? No, it might be a runner or something. Uh, right. That's a tuna, tuna. for sure. Bye-bye. Shut up. Uh-huh. That's something nice here. I mean, what we got, babe? Coming up. It is. Might be Cove? Yeah, Cove? Yeah, Cove? These come straight up. That'd be a Cove. Please. It's little if it is, I don't think. Going down like Watch out, watch out. Cove, yeah. Is it? Yeah. No, it's a king. It's a no, king. it's a king. Oh. It, it looks like a Cove, dude. It's a king. Oh. <laughs> I went to close me, I didn't want to hit you. Three of the sharks, good, good, good. Drop down, drop down right now. Drop, oh, three sharks right there. Where's my cobia? So we like the sharks and we don't. When we see the sharks, usually the cobia are following the sharks, so. They like to swim by the sharks and eat the scraps off their backs. Oh, dude, you're never going to land one. There's four bull sharks right there. All right, guys, this is our haul right here. Around 28 fish. Yes, I know it's a lot of fish. No, none of it's going to go to waste. We got three people here, three families. Check out Adam's channel. See I you, kill dolphin like this every day, every single day of my life. You wish you did. <laughs> yeah, because I put him on it. Yeah. CJ's okay. the real MVP here. We all okay. Know it. Listen. You know how many fish Jay missed today? <laughs> you'll, I mean, Hi, you'll buddy, hear about it. Don't even it. start with me. Oh, you guys know. No, we're not doing this. These two were bickering like an old married couple saying, you missed this fish, you missed this fish. But look at this. We didn't miss that many fish. Because there's a lot of them in the boat. Adam has his license to sell some of it, and we're going to give a bunch away. Ain't that right, mister? That is right. So, like Vic said, a lot of people will go out, a lot of recreational... Hold on, I can't see. A lot of recreational fishermen will go out and kill like a big a big amount of dolphin like this and then go home and bag it up and then you know it's just going in somebody's freezer and it's going to waste at least okay well the blue runner found our pilchards at least these are going to the market and somebody's going to eat these fish we got them laying out on the deck because i'm about to gut them all pack them tight with ice and then head back to the house but none of these fish are going to waste they never do i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and big shout out once again to fishing clash for sponsoring today's video you guys can find that in the description box below, it is a free game once again on iOS and Android. And don't forget to use my code FISHWITHVICTOR. You guys are going to get that $20 value. I'll catch you next time.